everybody! I'm Julie, writer and director of the indie nerdy comedy Geekless Funk. And this video, I'm just gonna do a quick little video about kind of about the Bible and homosexuality. This is gonna be a quick video and I'll link to the, my longer videos. Okay, so you're gonna love this video. It's gonna be so cool. You're gonna love it. Welcome to the Julie Show! I made a really long video called The Bible and Homosexuality and I got a comment. I got a comment. Okay. I made the video four years ago. Okay. Someone named DDR... DDRSE. Okay. Uh, the picture's a puppy. Okay. Uh, the comment says, you can be LGBTQ and Christian. And for some reason, my... Someone... My channel hid the comment or something. So I was checking, like, they basically hit the comment where I'd have to read it and approve it. I don't know why it did that. So like, so someone four years ago commented, you can be LGBT and Christian. And then I like three years later, <laughs> I replied, that is correct. You can be LGBT and Christian, smiley face. And then they said, it's about time. <laughs> as in me commenting, replying to their comment. And then I said, LOL, your comment got lost in the behind the scenes thing of my channel. Thanks for the comment, exclamation point. And that, my friends, is the internet. Okay. Basically, you can watch, sorry y'all, okay. Uh, basically, you can watch my longer videos about this, but um, basically there's like six to eight Bible verses that sort of kind of talk about homosexuality, but not really. They're taken out of context. They're, um, they're translated incorrectly, that kind of thing. The Bible is written in ancient, uh, ancient Greek or ancient Hebrew. And then it was like translated to ancient Greece, Greek. And then actually, uh, I have a couple of books on this, but if you go and, um, look at the history of like, when specifically conservative Christianity started going after LGBTQ people. It happened around the 1940s, 1970s. Um, it's pretty gnarly. It's pretty nefarious. Like the conservative Christians, um, they had an agenda. So um, there's a couple of books. I'll link to those that kind of talk about that. They had an agenda to be really homophobic. So um, that's pretty gnarly. Uh, just to prove that I'm, you know, gay, um, I have this bracelet. If that doesn't prove that I'm gay, I don't know what else does. <laughs> I'm being silly. Uh, for bisexuals, pansexuals, here's this. You know, uh, this is for when I watch Usher videos. <laughs> I like a little eye candy. Okay, so um, that's the bisexual flag. Okay, so yeah, the, basically the verses are taken out of context. You can watch my other videos about that. And then there's there's a there's there's like 10, 15 books that address the six to eight Bible verses. Um, so this is one. Of, this is the newest book. I I saw her speak. Really nice lady, Sandy Turnbull. God's Gay Agenda, Gays and Lesbians in the Bible, Church and Marriage. Just to let you know, um, if you're not Christian, this book is very Jesus-y. <laughs> Jesus this, Jesus that, Jesus this, Jesus that. I'm okay with that because I grew up Baptist, but um, if, you know, if that's not your cup of tea, don't worry about it. And just to prove I grew up Baptist, there's my little cross. So there you go. Um, I'm actually interfaith. Um, I'll talk about being interfaith. I'll link to that video. And so, yeah, basically it's okay to be LGBTQ. Uh, it's okay to be spiritual and it, regardless of someone's sexual orientation like everyone has to decide how they're gonna um, express their sexuality in a healthy way that's a decision everyone has to make gear straight and I can't answer that for you I, for me I'm all over the place <laughs> I, 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 I mean I'm definitely gay but as far as expressing your sexuality in healthy ways I'm still figuring that out. Okay, uh, but everyone on planet Earth has to figure out how they're going to express their sexuality in a healthy way and how they're going to express their spirituality in a healthy way, whatever that is for you. You don't have to be a Christian. Seriously, like, it's all good. And I got burnt by a church, so I'm a little, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> it's hard for me to be too rah-rah for institutional Christianity right now. But I still love Jesus and I think Jesus is awesome for me. Now, with that, this is me being silly and being a little facetious, 
But if there's any, um, you know, like, cute women <laughs> watching this, and you're, like, afraid that, like, oh, shit, you're religious. Okay. I just want to say I never talk about it in real life, spirituality. I really don't. So if there's any hot ladies watching this, <laughs> and you want to and you want to go on a date with me, or you must have me now, it's like, well, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> how you doing now? I'm just joking, but I never talk about being religious or spiritual ever in real life. Like, it's all good. Um, to any hot women watching this, <laughs> we can totally go on dates and stuff. And now that, that's me being silly and facetious. I'm being silly, but I, I don't know. When someone's religious or spiritual, it doesn't have to scare you because, like, it's not a big deal and that kind of thing. I promise I'm not an asshole. When I was in college, I had two roommates who were heterosexual, and they were agnostic they weren't religious and I happen to be a Christian blah 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 and and gay and they're like they told me this is back in college I went to college from 2001 to 2005 and these are two straight ladies and they said they said to me they said Julie uh, you're the first Christian I've ever met who isn't a total asshole <laughs> they're like you're not judgmental you're not an asshole you're actually just sincerely use your faith be nice they're like you're the only Christian I've ever met who isn't a fucking asshole. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> it was two straight ladies saying this to me. So, and one of one of one of my roommates, she got interested in spirituality in general. Like she she was trying to pick her path. Like she went to uh, a Jewish synagogue. She, she trying Buddhism. Like she's trying to figure out her path. And that's the thing. That's all I'm saying. It's like you don't have to be a Christian you're fine. I would actually say be careful, <laughs> you know, but I would just say like every human being on planet earth has to figure out how to express their spirituality in a healthy way and how to express their sexuality in a healthy way. So yeah, anyway, so yep, that's my opinion on the Bible and homosexuality. I'll link to my other videos where I was a little more Jesus-y back then. <laughs> Because I don't know you guys, but there you go. Alright, thank you so much for commenting to the person who commented. I love you all. Um, yeah, have a great night. Love y'all.